Today's video is going to be slightly different than my normal ones. We're going to install this Adano Tag Reader into Home Assistant, and I've never messed with this before, so we're going to learn together. So let's get started. All right, we're going to take this little device here. We've got a little, a little Rav Power battery. I'm just going to plug it into the Rav Power battery here like so and no indication that it's powered all right so i'm trying to connect to the tag reader doing that now all right so if i click on this maybe it'll automatically open up a thing so it does all right so that's awesome so um now i need to select my network for this device so i will select that one put in my password save it And now the ESP is going to try to connect to my network. And once it does that, does that, we can go over to, let's go over to my Unify. All right, so let's look for clients here. Now that I'm logged into my Unify control panel and see if we have a new client showing up. This has been up for 22 seconds. And I'm going to assume that that is this, the device, the tag reader. So I'm going to give it a name, give it a tag reader as a name so we know which one it is. So now if I go to Home Assistant and I look at um, integrations, let's see, or uh, yeah, integrations, does it find a tag reader? or should tell me a new device is available actually. So do I get any notifications? No notifications. So supposedly, supposedly you would get a notification here that there's a new device available. So let me give it some time. Uh, this has an IP address of nothing. So um, not up yet, maybe? Oh, there it is. It's got an address. Outstanding. All right, now let's see, and there it is, there's a notification. New device discovered. ESP Ohm Tag Reader. Let's configure the Tag Reader. I sure do want to add it. And now it's talking to me. Little beep there. Uh, leave the platform blank for now. So ESP Home, one device. Now that we've got the Tag Reader installed, let's do something with it. So I'm gonna go over to our tags and I'm gonna create some automation based on those tags. So we'll take this first tag right here, make sure that's the right one. Okay, we'll set an automation on this tag. I'm gonna turn on a light with this tag. So whenever this tag is scanned, I'm going to call a service. My service is gonna be turn on be switch turn on and my entity is going to be playroom and we will save this and now if we go over to our dashboard and we look at the playroom light we see that it's off so if we scan this tag right here on our tag reader you can now see that the playroom light has turned on so let me turn that back off again now, that's as simple as, add, it, as it is to add automation. Um, nothing to it. You've seen that in my other in, uh, NFC tag video. So I wanna do the same thing in Node Red, but first I'm gonna go back over to configuration and my automations, and I'm gonna disable that automation so it doesn't fire whenever I run it in Node Red. All right, so back to the dashboard. We can see that the playroom light is off. Now let's go over to Node Red, and we're gonna create a new, um, a new flow or new path for the light to turn on when the tag is scanned. So for that, we need to look at our event bus and we don't want to watch everything on our event bus. We only want to watch um, the, the tag scanned events because if we watch everything, we're going to get too much um, in there and it's just going to be overwhelming or override. It'll be overwhelming to the system and may cause stability issues. So just tag scanned. 
All right, so that's done. Now what we want to do is once that tag is scanned, we want to determine which tag is, uh, what the tag ID is. So we go to switch here and we add a switch. We're going to need to fill in this, um, this tag ID. So the switch can pass that through to the next step, but we're not going to know what that is on this particular type of, of, uh, card reader. We're going to have to determine our, our tag ID. Um, and it, in order to do that, or we can determine the tag ID, but we need to, to have the switch pull the tag ID out of the event bus tag scanned node. So I'm going to add a debug node to my tag scanned so I can see what the output of that tag scanned is going to be whenever it is uh, scanned. So there's the debug node. Now I need to come over here and look at the debug window. And if I scan this tag, I'm going to scan it. Now you'll see that over here we have a message payload and we do see that the tag ID is here in this particular object. In order to figure out what this object is, the easy way in node red is to come over here to this particular tag ID, the item that we're looking for specifically, click on the copy path. Now the path is copied. If I go to my switch node, I can add the property here and this is going to be message.payload.event.tagid. So it's following that tree and that's what it's going to be. Now I need to know whenever this tag is scanned. So we'll copy just the value of the tag ID out. If you have multiple tags, you can actually create a bunch of different things here for the switch nodes and those switch nodes will actually uh, allow it to go different paths out of the switch. So we'll just use the one for now. And we will connect this to the switch node and I can go ahead and remove debug. Don't need that now. And I'm going to clear the filter and I want to call a service to turn on the light. So let me call that service now and it's going to be turn on light. The domain is going to be switch service is going to be turn on and the entity ID is going to be playroom. And that's all we need there. We'll connect it. We'll deploy it. Now our light is off. You can see it's off here. I'm going to go back here. And if this works correctly, you'll see that this service has been called. So let's scan this tag. All right. Now you see switch turn on called because it matched the ID of the tag for that particular tag. And the, and the light is on and that's all there is to it. So I omitted a whole bunch of stuff today. Um, it took a couple tries to get the tag reader to actually show up on my Wi-Fi network. And I think part of that was because I have a 2.4 gig and a five gig network with the same SSID. And it was having an issue understanding which one to connect to. So I tried a couple different methods to get it connected. Um, and I, or actually I just tried the 2.4 once and then the five gig, I don't know which one actually worked, but if you have a problem getting the tag reader and you have multiple, um, SSIDs for this, uh, for the network or same SSID for multiple networks, you may have to play around with that a little bit. The tag reader has to be on the same network as your home assistant, uh, installation so that it, it can pick it up in the integrations. Um, other than that, it works very well. Uh, and I just need to find a place to put it so I can use it. Again, the sky's the limit. You can write automations for tags. You, you could have a dozen different tags and the reader will just do whatever you tell it to do uh, when the tag is scanned. Other than that, if you have any questions, just uh, leave those in the comments down below. Um, hit that like button if you like the videos. And if you want to support me in what I'm doing here, a couple links down below as well for Kofi and uh, Patreon. And um, again, Discord for questions, comments for questions, and we will see you on the next video.